Hey, Alina here from Estimate Mastery, and I'm collaborating with EagleView to show you how to integrate Xactimate with the EagleView measurement report. So in this video, what we're going to do is order an EagleView through Xactimate. I'm going to go over the desktop and the online version of Xactimate so you can see which one you're using. And then we'll also import that sketch, and I'll show you how you can see all of the measurements, a wall report if you want to see one of those. That's what we're going to do in this video today. So let's go take a look. So first of all, let's make sure you know whether you're using the desktop version of Xactimate or the online version. So the desktop version, you can see I have it loaded to my Windows bar down here. You may also have an icon on your desktop that's for Xactimate. That indicates that Xactimate is the desktop version that you've installed it to your PC or laptop. The desktop version is great because you don't have to be connected to Wi-Fi to write an estimate. You can take your laptop out in the field, write your estimate, come back to your office, and don't have to worry about being connected to the internet in between. The desktop version also is a bit faster, so it's my preferred version, but it's not as versatile as the online version of Xactimate. You'll know that you're using the online version of Xactimate whenever you have to go to Xactimate.com in order to start working in a new project or a new estimate. If you're logging in through a browser, that means you have the online version. So here you can see I'm using Chrome, not the icon for Xactimate. The icon for Xactimate would indicate that you're using the desktop version. The browser icon, or if you're having to enter a web address, that means that you're using the online version. The reason I mention this is because ordering EagleView reports through Xactimate after you've done your integration is different between the desktop and the online version. So let's start with the online version. How do we order an EagleView for the first time? Well, first of all, you're going to want to start a new project if you haven't already, and go ahead and choose either the carrier or the contractor profiles to get that project started. So with the carrier profile, the main difference is that you can add what's called a claim number. It's nice to have the claim number listed on your Eagle View report. So I actually advocate that you use the carrier profile whenever you're going to order the Eagle View through Xactimate. You can use the contractor profile, that's fine, but you won't have a field where you can enter the claim number. The other difference between carrier and contractor, you have access to different report types and PDFs through the carrier profile than you do the contractor profile. So just be aware, carrier is more, if you're doing a lot of insurance work, the carrier profile is just fine for you, even if you are a contractor. Of course, if you're an adjuster, then you'll always be using the carrier profile or whatever insurance company that you're working for. Now that we've selected our profile, we can make sure that we have the estimate project type. That's typical, that's what you always have. And then we can name it. So we'll name this one Eagle View just for fun. Then after we've named it, we can go ahead and create. And that'll create the new project for us. Whenever the estimate opens up for you, usually if it's a brand new estimate, it is going to go ahead and ask you for a price list. So we can go ahead and request a price list. And I usually go by zip code and just enter in the zip code that I'm looking for and let it download. If it didn't ask you for a price list, that's okay. No worries, we can set that up later. On most estimates, it will ask you, if it's a new estimate, it'll ask you to choose that price list first. All right, now we've got our insured info here. You can see we're in claim info, and here's our insured info. We wanna fill this out before we order the Eagle View report. So go ahead and fill that out with the name, street, city, state, and zip code, corresponding where you're going to perform the job. That's all you need to fill out in order to order the report as far as the information for the property. We then want to fill out our claim rep down here. Under personnel, go ahead and fill yourself out. That way your information should autofill whenever we order the EagleView report. If you don't have yourself added, just go ahead and click on the little hamburger menu and get yourself added. And this will, again, will show up on the EagleView ordering so that you don't have to have duplicate data entry. I'm gonna go ahead and save and exit. Now, before I do that, I did notice something that could be a little confusing if you're using the online version. When I opened this estimate in the online version, I noticed that it opened up a similar icon as to what the desktop version looks like, okay? So I don't want you to be confused. Whenever I exit that project, you'll see that it brings me back to the dashboard, which does still reside in a browser. So if you're still confused on whether you're using desktop or online, don't worry. Whenever you open that project, it does open up a similar looking window. But once you save and exit the project, it does bring you back to a browser. So therefore, you can rest assured you are actually using the online version of Xactimate. The reason, again, I mentioned this is the ordering of the Eagle View is different between the online and the desktop version. So let's take a look at 
how to order that Eagle View report through the online. You go ahead and save and exit the project like I just did and come back to the dashboard. Again, we're here in the browser, so I know I have the online version in front of me. Going to click on the project. Now, don't double click and open the project. That's not what we want to do. We just want to click once on Eagle View there or the project name that you're working on. And then we can hover over here to the right. Notice that if I don't have anything selected, that right-hand side menu goes missing. So once I click on a project, then my menu comes up and you've got several options here. It's nice that the request data or to order the Eagle view is gonna be a little house with a little tree, that makes sense. And so we're gonna click there. Then this request data box will pop up. We're going to drop down under provider. This is where you can have Eagle View roof and walls or just the roof only. Of course, those are differently priced and you'll, you can get with Eagle View to get the pricing on those. But for this one, we just need the Eagle View roof report. Notice that it's keying off of the location that I had already typed into the project. That's why I have you open the project and create the project first in order to do that. And then also notice because we filled out that personnel record, it did pull my information and place it here on the contact record. Now, the one thing it didn't do because I didn't do this, honestly, was go fill out the claim number. So we like to have the claim number here entered on the Eagle View record or the Eagle View order because it will place that on the report. So if you're an adjuster, tie that claim number to that report and make it really easy for you know, documenting purposes. But if you're a contractor using Eagle View, adding the claim number here lets the adjuster know it's a corresponding to the same claim, which is what everything keys off of for the insurance company. So it's always really good to enter the claim number here. If you don't have the claim number, just put the last name of the insured or the person that you're working with that owns the property. And that will at least tie the report back to some kind of information that corresponds for the adjuster for the insurance company. And over here, this notes section, if you've watched my Eagle View integration video, which if you haven't, you can go search that over on YouTube, you can actually ask customer service to allow the notes field to be active for you. So if you have multiple buildings on a property and let's say a commercial situation, maybe it has the same address here, but you only need a certain building on the property or multiple buildings, you can make those notes here in this notes field. However, if you haven't told customer service to unlock the notes for you, you can write all the notes you want, but they won't get to Eagle View unless it's been unlocked on your account. So just a side note there with the integration, go ahead and get that unlocked in the beginning. Same with your roof and walls report. If you don't see that option showing up here, that's because you didn't have customer service set you up with roof and walls. So that's something you can call the 800 number and get that taken care of if you're interested in either getting the roof and walls to show for you or the notes to flow through to Eagle View. That's something customer service can help you with. Now to place this order, we're just gonna left click OK. And that's gonna send it off through what's called exact analysis. And it says my request was processed successfully. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait until we receive an email from Eagle View that says we've processed your request and that your report is ready. When you get that email saying, hey, the report's ready and you've actually have it attached, that's when you can come back here into ExactMate. Now I'm gonna open up the project where I've actually already ordered and received the Eagle View project ready to go so I can show you what it looks like to pull those measurements into Sketch. So we're gonna open up the project. We're going to go over to Estimate here and we're going to go to sketch right there. And you'll see that we've pulled the measurements in. Now I, I had done this previously. Let me show you how I did this. Let me just delete this off. We're going to go into this little icon in the top left corner, right? So if that icon isn't showing, you might wanna check with Eagle View customer service because maybe something happened with the connection um, through exact analysis or something like that. But when you get that Eagle View confirmation uh, via email, you should now be able to see this little icon in that corresponding estimate here in ExactMe. Double click on that icon, it's gonna ask you which one you open. I have multiple here because I've been playing around with this particular roof doing some testing and things, but we're just gonna click on import there. And there you go, it loads the roof uh, to your estimate just like that. It's as easy, easy as one click estimating, I like to say. And then what we can do is we can use the variables of this roof to go ahead and build out our estimate. We can call back to what are called variables here in our line items, and it will actually pre-fill out our line items. Now that's for another video, but I just wanna tell you that 
You can get really fast at writing estimates by using the Eagle View integration and knowing your variables for your line items. The other things is since I've imported a roof and walls report on this one, just to give you an example of it's not roof only, I also pulled in the walls. I'm going to hit three on my keyboard and that's going to bring you to 3D view. So now I can apply siding or paint to any of these areas since I pulled in the walls report. Now you'll notice that the windows are missing at this moment. We've got all of our you know, wall openings. I've got windows and doors that aren't showing, but I can do a lot of the estimating working off of this walls report. So that is one of the reasons you may want to integrate whatever you first call customer service, get the roof and walls report added to your Eagle View account. So you can do this integration and see the walls as well. Now, perhaps you've already built an estimate and you want to import the Eagle View into that existing estimate. That's fine. You don't have to start a new project in order to order the Eagle View. All you'll need to do is just follow the process. Like I said before, let's take this test estimate, click on the estimate, go to the request data in the right-hand side, go ahead and click uh, just as we did before and fill out all the information. You can do that here from the online version, even if the estimate has already been created, not a problem. I just like to start with a fresh estimate so that you see the process from A to Z. Now let's go see what this looks like on the desktop version of ExactMate. All right, with the desktop version, it's very similar to the online version. You can either start a new project. If you do that, it looks a little bit different here. We can do an Eagle View test like we did before. And again, notice that we've got the profile type set as carrier, not contractor. That way we have our carrier profile allowing us to enter a claim number. So we can create that new project, go ahead and you know, select whatever price list that you would like to use. And just like the online version, like I had just shown you, it will go ahead and take you to the name and all the property info. Make sure to fill that out. And then of course, choose yourself as the claim rep for the little hamburger menu here. Hey, okay, I've got all of my property information filled out. Now, if you'd like, you can go ahead and fill out the claim number now by going over to coverage and loss. And then we can enter the claim number here and uh, any of the other information that you need. But this claim number is going to be the one that's going to key off of that Eagle View will, you know, will tie back to this information on their report. And that's why the claim number is so important. So now that I've created that, I can save and exit. And just like with the online version, we can hover over the report that we want to use and click on it and this side menu will pop up. Now, here is where the differences start from the online to the desktop version. So with this desktop version, again, I'm using the icon, I'm on the dashboard, that denotes that I am using the desktop version of ExactMate, it's installed to this PC. So then when I go to request data this time, it starts to look quite different. So you always wanna select new order, even if it's one that you've previously ordered through EagleView, don't let that throw you. Always use new order here and then click next. And to make things super confusing, it's gonna take you to a browser, okay? So even though I'm using the desktop version, it's gonna take me over to a browser window in order to order the Eagle View. I can't do it within Xactimate organically. I have to open up this browser window. It actually does it for you when you click next. So then I can request the service that I'd like, and I've got roof here. And then the location and everything is already filled out and the claim number even because I filled it out in Xactimate already, all right? So that's why it's important to do that first step in Xactimate. Even if you're using an existing project, you can still use that existing project as long as everything's filled out here. And then we can go ahead and hit submit and that will go ahead and place the order now through Eagle View. Now from here on out, it's pretty much the same. You're going to get a confirmation from Eagle View once the order has processed, and then you're going to pull it in Xactimate pretty much the same way we did with the online version. But let's take a look at that really quick. So I'm gonna open up the project here. And again, I'm gonna to go to the estimate section and then sketch. Again, this is the desktop version. And from here on out, again, it's pretty similar to the online version. So I can go ahead and delete this one that I had already had showing, go to that icon right over here on the top left, double click on that, click import, and there we go. We're all good to go. We've got our 3D, just tap three on my keyboard and I can see the walls report there. And it's a beautiful thing. So those are the few little differences between the desktop and online version, but just thought I'd cover that for you just so you don't get hung up on any part of the process and are able to order and pull in your Eagle View. And now we can pretty much write an estimate in a snap because we have our variables and other things that we can use off the Eagle View report.
Hope that was helpful to you to pull in the Eagle View measurements and order and all the other fun things that you can do with your integration with Exact Meet and Eagle View. My name is Alina Wilson with Estimate Mastery. If you'd like more information on the training that we provide for contractors who use Exact Meet, go to estimatemastery.com.